Hey YouTube, Ryan from Droid Review here. Um, I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to install another custom ROM. This one's going to be called Ultimate Droid 7.8. Um, it's a really cool ROM. I've been using it the past few weeks, and uh, the guy updates like crazy. His name's Black Droid. Um, it's a really good ROM. It's actually based off of Verizon and Google's uh, leaked 2.1 software or firmware I should say that's coming out to our phones here pretty soon whenever that happens um, so I'm really excited about that um, it's coded ESE 53 um, so uh, we'll be seeing that one soon but here's here's gonna here's like the tutorial of how to uh, actually get it on your phone it's real simple just like my smoked ROM video um, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do so just please keep in mind you must be rooted uh, you must uh, have a uh, Sir Psycho's recovery tool um, updated to the latest uh, software. Please make sure you know how to do an Android backup because, you know, obviously uh, if you do anything wrong, you're going to want to go back to your original uh, firmware. So, um, anyways, let's get right into it. Uh, so, first things first, let's go ahead and um, mount your, um, your phone here. And again, um, if you look in the file description there, um, you're going to be able to see a download link. Uh, the download link is going to give you the uh, actual files that you're going to need to download for the ROM. So now once that, that we have our phone mounted, we're going to go and I'm going to show you what's cracking on the computer real quick. <clears throat> Alright, so here's, here is our um, SD card. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up our Nandroid folder. That's going to have all of our ROMs in there. So as you can see, I have a ton in here already, so we'll set that to the side here. The file that we actually downloaded is right here. It's Ultimate Droid 7.8 and Android.zip. You're going to want to open it up, and you're going to see these four files. You're going to um, actually extract these um, to your desktop or whatever folder you want to put them in. Once they're extracted, um, you're going to uh, put them in a, their own folder. Um, name it like uh, Ultimate Droid, and actually I already did it here. So name it Ultimate Droid 7.8. It's right there on, on my SD card already. Um, so once you once you have uh, the folder on your desktop with the files in it, you're gonna want to drag and drop it directly onto your um, SD card in the Nandroid folder. Don't put it in any other folder like any of these. It's got to be in its own folder um, named specifically. Uh, anything you want, but with no spaces. If you must use spaces or whatever, you could use underscores or little dashes or something like that, or periods even um, for a space. Just don't use spaces because that's how you guys are getting all those crazy errors. You know, the status 21, and status 28. So um, once that's on your SD card, um, you're pretty much done. Uh, essentially, now we're going to go into uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the phone again, and we're going to reboot into recovery mode. And what that means is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, unplug the USB cable here. Uh, we're going to uh, turn off the phone, push and hold that. And remember, the rebooting and recovery mode um, is to hold the power button and the X at the same time when you first turn on the phone. That'll get you into recovery mode. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we're back. We're in recovery mode, as you can see. So first things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and like always before installing any ROM uh, to your phone, you're going to want to do a an Android backup. Um, I already did that, so um, what we're going to want to do now is wipe data factory reset. So scroll down one and then hit the camera button right here to use the enter button, I guess you could call it. Push that. It's going to say no, 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 no. Scroll down to the yes one, which is totally fine. Click yes. Um, I always suggest um, wiping your wiping data and formatting, uh, just because um, it's going to eliminate any um, issues with any applications or any pre-installed stuff in the ROM itself. Um, that way, uh, if you do have any bugs, you're usually going to get the bugs that everyone else has instead of something new that you have because your phone has some sort of custom APK or something like that. I always like to start off fresh. You don't necessarily have to, but it's going to eliminate problems in the long run. So I always go ahead and wipe data factory reset. Since it is an Android um, update, we're going to go into backup and restore. We're going to go into advanced and Android restore. 
And again, guys, um, I've never, I haven't installed this this version yet, so all this stuff is going to be new to me. So if it loads up and it's all buggy as hell, then uh, you'll see you'll see it firsthand. We're going to click on Choose Backup right there on top. I have a ton of them in here. We're going to scroll all the way down to my latest one, Ultimate Droid 7.8 click enter or the camera button keep all these the same boot data and system checked I don't usually check anything else and then you're just gonna click on perform restore and it's gonna do its magic so I'm gonna let it do its magic and uh, when it comes back up uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go from there so I'll be right back okay guys it's done obviously you can see it's done right there did everything that we needed it to do now you're going to hit this top button up here to back out of everything. Um, you're going to uh, scroll up to reboot system now. Before I reboot, I just want to let you guys know, um, the first time you reboot a freshly installed ROM, the load up time is extremely long compared to regular load up time on a ROM that's already been installed. So the first time you install a ROM, don't freak out because your Motorola logo is sitting there forever. Don't freak out because the boot animation just keeps going and going. Sometimes it takes two, three minutes for the actual to uh, to to get going. Um, now, if it's sitting there for 10 minutes at the Motorola logo, go ahead and do a battery pull and um, put it back in, power on the phone, you should be fine. Um, but anyways, uh, so also remember we formatted data um, and wiped the phone clean. So it's going to ask us to log back into our Google account. It's, we're going to want to sync. Um, you're going to want to reinstall any um, applications that you downloaded before. Um, it's going to sync your contacts and calendar ob automatically, obviously. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system and have it load up. And I'll catch you guys when my phone's all loaded up and we can go over the ROM. All right, see ya. Okay, we are back. Um, this is the first time I'm going to unlock it. So, okay. Uh, go ahead and click on uh, Use by Default and then click on uh, Helix Launcher gonna load up this obviously so kinda different here um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, scroll through here you got a couple different screens um, it's interactive live wallpaper pretty cool stuff um, I'm not sure which one the home screen is so let's go ahead and click on home looks like this one is let's click on the droid and see what happens whoa so we have a big app drawer here with all sorts of preloaded stuff on it. Um, so far so good. I don't have a lot of time left guys, but this is pretty much it. Um, obviously you have um, the gallery here. It's gonna be the uh, 2.1 3D gallery. And please bear with me that um, there are, you know, this phone I just hooked up, so everything is going to be a little bit slow right off the bat. Let's see what the phone looks like. So a different themed phone here, obviously. That's pretty cool. Um, what else do we got here? Let's. Uh, I know we have some widgets that are different probably. Um, audio manager. Looks like advanced task manager gets bundled with it. Uh, Mixing, which is a nice player. Pandora. Uh, the news and weather widget. Uh, so those are those are pretty good to have, obviously. <laughs> um, these buttons down here, it looks like they're a quick launch. You can actually um, just throw those away by pushing and holding, clicking on yes. And instead of having those small ones, you can actually have you know a big one too. So as you can see here, um, there's actually a nice cool little feature where these icons will always be there on the bottom, and you can remove and and, and edit it as many with whatever icons you want there but essentially still have the the after icon looks like um, we got quick boot which is a pretty cool thing quick settings um, wireless tether which is awesome but this is it guys I mean I still have to if when we click on market here it's gonna want me to log into my gmail right off the bat see and um, you know, we could do that right away or do it later, whatever you want to do, but it's pretty much it. I mean, you're going to have to go through this yourself, guys, and see what you like, take what you like, remove what you like. Um, but you're going to have a total of seven screens. 
Obviously, I don't have anything placed in here, but anyway, that's it, guys. This is Ultimate Droid, and I'll have all the download links. Please pay attention to the video description for instructions on how to do this. And like I said before, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And all those guys out there that uh, know how to do this already, please help everyone out. If you have an answer to any of the questions, feel free to answer away. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for subscribing. Um, if you guys want any uh, requests or anything like that, let me know. Um, something new should be coming out soon also. So thanks again for watching. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.